This is the Emergency Medical Minute. Good morning, it's Nick Sippis uh, with a brief COVID-19 related commentary. There's an article in the New England Journal of Medicine yesterday, which was April 28th. 2020 that commented on a very small case series, an N of five regarding patients, generally young, generally healthy patients with COVID whose presenting symptom was a stroke, uh, including a kind of a lar- large vessel occlusion territory stroke. And this comes on the heels of a recent New England Journal of Medicine, uh, also low number um, case series of patients with STEMIs and stroke. And both of these are compared to the usual um, incidence of uh, LVO and, and STEMI, and there seems to be an increased incidence in the in the context of COVID. And I think, just as a brief commentary of this, this is these are two examples of ongoing data sets regarding the possibility of vascular complications from COVID nineteen. There's a lot of discussion regarding uh, microthrombotic disease in the lungs contributing to acute hypoxic respiratory failure as, and some kind of proposed endothelial dysfunction mechanisms for this. But I don't really want to get too bogged down in the, um, pathophys because so much of it is hypothetical right now. Um, but ultimately, you know, I think that it's these types of case series are important to acknowledge. They may shed light on a developing trend. They need rigorous scientific study. They need randomization when possible. Um, and they certainly need appropriate kind of matching matching groups. But uh, as these reports continue to come out, it's something that we'll continue to keep you updated on is, is how exactly COVID-19 manifests itself in the endothelial system and, and the cardiovascular complications and whether or not these folks are truly at a higher risk of VTE um, uh, or other kind of thrombotic complications. Um, so more, more, certainly more to come, um, but also don't want to overreact to a very small uh, case series of patients as atypical as their symptoms may be and as surprising as some of their presentations may be. I think this highlights the need for continued rigorous study and uh, kind of continued scientific discipline when it comes to, uh, you know, trying to determine trends and uh, patterns in, in presentation. So more to come. Uh, COVID may affect your blood vessels. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.